You know, no matter what, they just can't get over this goddamn pose, man. This fucking RKO pose. Either way, guys, welcome back to Falcon Plays Dark Souls 2. And uh, we're going to continue on to uh, Huntsman Valley, I do believe, is where we're going. Uh, I was an imbecile right there, and I rolled completely in through the poison. How this works is that, as you can see, our poison meter is going up. It's going to go up depending on how fast it uh, gets off of our body. And since I was decided to be a moron and just kind of dive in there fully head on, it's going to take a little bit of while. We might get poison, we might not, but even if we do, uh, not really a big deal. Let's actually talk to this uh, cleavage over here. Jesus Christ, baby. Um, Are you yeah. a traveler? I'm Cloanne, an ore stone trader. I travel about collecting rare stones, which I sell to make my living. I never. Yeah, man, you to have to give me a second here, Cloanne. I know, Cloanne, stop for a second, all right? Just stop. I, <laughs> I was an imbecile and decided to poison myself. Oh yeah, it's gonna be no problem at all, guys. Forget this poison, no big deal. <laughs> okay. Um. All right, let's start. Let's try this again. Don't dive in there completely like I did. A, a little jump like that's going to be more than enough to clear it. Alright, Clan, sorry about that. Um, Sorry to interrupt you guys from talking there. You've been long away. What would you like? Well, I've only one thing to provide, and we both know what that is. <laughs> no, you have two things to provide, Cloanne. And I don't really appreciate the uh, suggestive nature in that tone, because I am the one doing the misogyny over here, not you. Uh, let me go ahead and talk to her, though, see what she, what, see what they have to tell us. I came here in search of Excuse rare me, stones, her. but... The place is nothing like I was told. All this poison, and you can't get very far inside. Don't just go haplessly wandering about. You don't tell me what to do. Even if you are flaunting them in front of me. These stones may look all the same, but to the trained eye, each is unique. Some of them are used to smith weapons and armor, and some unique stones provide special benefits. Some of them are extremely rare and should be used with great thrift. None of the differences are easily spotted. But I've learned quite a lot, really. <laughs> Drang Lake. How is it that I ended up here? It's funny. I can't seem to remember. I've searched every nook and cranny here. I suppose it's time to move on. Perhaps we'll meet again, if we live that long. <laughs> I've searched every perhaps all right so basically you want to exhaust all of her uh, dialogue so you could send her back to Majula and she's gonna be really good for Majula because she will sell you um, Titanite shards uh, when you first start off there's gonna be like a certain point in iron keep that you have to get through I believe you have to actually clear iron keep before she sells you Titanite shards unlimitedly you'll start off with only uh, having 10 to sell to you but still really important early on, especially for me, since I'm trying to upgrade my mace for this part. So, uh, we will definitely grab ourselves. Well, might as well fucking grab all ten of them. Um, 10,000 sure, if souls? Sure, go ahead. No big deal, man. I just beat a boss. I'm good. Um, not, I beat a boss, not, uh, Bruce Springsteen. I would never beat the boss, man. Who would do that? Um, so we've bought that. Let's talk I've to her again. I've searched ev- I've searched- Alright, you're- she's not ready to give us a gift yet for, um, <clears throat> Buying stuff off I of her like most NPCs do. What? Right. I've searched. Yeah. So we're, we're good. We'll meet again. So either way, if, uh, a little background no on her. Um, just to show you that I'm over here all fun and games. Like oh, I got some interesting things to talk about, man. I mean, it's gotta stop getting distracted apparently. Uh, but no, no. Um, this is a uh, Cloanne. She is the daughter of the blacksmith of Majula. Um, who he's been alluding to being off. She's been off, like, you know, wandering about, looking for stones, yada, yada, yada. The interesting thing she said was that she does not remember how she got to Drang Lake. And her dialogue is really interesting, especially in Majula, so we'll be sure to talk to her a bit more there. And I will, I guess, delve a little bit further into, um, what the hell I'm trying to say over here. Well, not really that, but, um, what exactly her dialogue, uh, alludes to and whatnot. But yeah, uh, again, basically we've been getting this whole, uh, thing going on where... A lot of people aren't really particularly sure what the hell they're doing in Dranglick. Um, I mean, remember the, uh... Well, remember if I could just kill this guy initially, good. 
I remember the uh, the shopkeeper in Majula, right? The uh, the beta that's always there, like, hey, bleh, 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 bleh. well, that guy he also talked about, you know, Drangling being a terrible place, but for some reason he's there and he can't get away. Now he's apparently making money, so um, you know, it, it's 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 interesting. A lot of people are there and they're not entirely sure why. <clears throat> I mean, we don't even know what the fuck we're here for, other than you know we're going hollow apparently. Um, this boss, or not boss, but this enemy over here, for some reason I have this thing, I keep calling every call, every common enemy a boss for some reason. Uh, they'll shoot some shadow spell at you, not really a big deal. And all this, as you can imagine, because it's green, it's poison, so you might want to avoid it. And we're going to deal with this guy from afar. We don't have to kill him, mind you. We could just kind of roll away, and the interesting about it is that he's going to shoot that shit at you. It has absolutely no chance of reaching your area because he shoots it straight ahead. Um, you know, unfortunately for him, he's not a bit... He, if he was taller, he could probably reach us, so, you know, if anything, um, you know, he's kind of like Skilo. You know, he wishes he could be a little bit taller. He, uh, probably wishes he could be a baller. Wishes he had a rabbit in a hat. Yeah. <laughs> Whatever that is. Uh, I just actually saw the music video for that. Um, earlier today, or earlier yesterday, I forget. Uh, you know, I haven't slept in a while, so my days are starting to kind of, uh, mesh into one. But I actually just saw the music video for that for the very first time. I've known that song for ages, but I watched the music video for the very first time. You know, Skilo, man, dude, that, that guy's amazing. Uh, what was weird about it is that I wasn't even sure if he was, like, a joke artist or not. I mean, it's kind of weird. Not like, not like he's a joke, like, I'm insulting the guy, right? So I took a Poison Moss there. Not really a good reason. I should have just waited a bit more, but, you know, I have Poison Mosses. Might as well use them. There's a few items up and around here that you want to get. A lot of them are going to be pretty much bullshit. But there's going to be a really interesting one inside of that cave that that giant gargoyle thing was actually guarding. So we'll be sure to get that. And be sure to deal with uh, old skeleton man over here. Alrighty. All good there. Let me knock that down. And, you know, I could just be using the um, Estus Flask to deal with the poison, but no big deal. I could even equip, you know, like stronger... Uh, poison resistant armor, rings, yada yada yada. Not really necessary. You guys don't have to go through all that, quite honestly. Um, you know, just uh, as long as you dealt with my boy Gavlin. Gavlin wheels, Gavlin deals. Oh, by the way, um, he is going to be wheeling and dealing in here, too. Don't think that he's not. He totally is. Um, I'll show you right now. Let's grab this item here. Fragment branch of yore. Really good. If you want to. <laughs> hey, you. Um, if you want to deal with, um, you know, unpetrifying certain NPCs, which you kind of want to do that. You'll deal with that, so let me just go ahead and knock that back and S this flask. Might as well. I could always uh, get these guys back when we arrest uh, at a bonfire somewhere. There's gonna be a secret passage right there. I'm not entirely sure this leads you back out or to an item. I think it's to an item. We'll figure it out though. But uh, Gavlin wheels and deals is gonna be wheeling and dealing in here for some reason. Gavlin, is this a trap? Can I trust you? Last time that you were in a room with a chest, it ended up being a trap. I'm gonna trust you, man. Okay, all good. Raw stone? <laughs> uh, let's, let's talk to my boy. Hmm. Gavlan knew you. Uh, sorry, let's take a little bit of a sip of coffee there, just uh, much like Gavlan is, although he's probably drinking like hardcore whiskey, like, I don't know, squeezed through the breast of like 70 virgins or something. Knowing Gavlan, that's kind of what he's into. Let's actually talk to him, see if he has anything different to say. Gavlan will. Gavlan deal. Gavlan wants soul. Many, many soul. <laughs> what you want. With Gavlan, you will, you deal. <laughs> <laughs> I can love this guy. You want to wheel? Then you fucking deal. This guy's great. Gavlan, we Gavlan wheel. Gavlan wheel. I can just hang out here the whole Gavlan. time. Let's just make this whole episode of Gavlan. I'm just going to hang out here for a while and just talk to him over and over. That'll be the rest of the episode, guys, so I'll catch you. No, no, I'm kidding. I'll do that in my own time, like I, I've i done so many times before. Um, again, you can sell items to him, any doubles and whatnot. Let's see what he asks for us right now. Um, we already have one of these, so I don't need that. Poison arrows? Uh... He doesn't have any more for sale, unfortunately. We bought the 20 that he did have, which are going to be really important at some point or another. You'll believe me on that. Um, and we could buy a few more poison mosses if we really feel the need to. I suppose I could. I got a few poison droid knives already. Um, 
Rotten Poison. Yeah, let me get two of these guys. I haven't necessarily found a reason to use them just yet in any boss fight, but... You know, whatever. I have the soul suspend. Might as fucking well. And let me do that. Regardless of which, I think that he hasn't given us uh, the gift that we need in order to, uh, when you buy some Wait, stuff. Kathleen, these you take. There, there you go. Huh? And we got the Gurm Great Axe. So you get this when you spend a certain amount of souls, much like you do with every NPC that deals with you. <laughs> or wheels and deals with you. They'll give you a certain item. He'll give you the Gurm Great Axe, which is a pretty fucking strong axe, but it requires like 50 strength to wield and deal. But, um, yeah, yeah, it's really high you. up there. I am going home, Gab. Uh, thank you for your concern. Well, actually, I'm not really going home. I don't really have a home. So let me drop down over here. Um, and yeah, there's gonna be a chest in here. By the way, I wasn't really ready to jump down there. I just kind of did. So, uh, Fire Seed and Divine Blessing. All good. Fire Seed obviously is to upgrade your uh, Pyromancy glove, which we will indeed do soon enough because we will want to deal with um. A certain fire spell, which um, we're gonna have to at some point or another uh, divulge a few points into what is it, fate, or no, no attunement to get an attunement slot. Now, mind you, on my off-camera run through, I actually dealt with that. Like, I actually spent points in attunement to get in a slot, but I realize there's also attunement rings. But you know, we'll see. We'll see where we go from there. So we're gonna get a torch from this guy as well. Good, or not from this guy, but this corpse, I should say. He's not really a guy anymore. He's beyond guy. I've used a lot of, um, Estus Flask, but we're, we have a Estus, uh, or not an Estus, but a, a bonfire coming up really shortly. It's not a really big deal. For the meantime, though, as much as I love my mace, let me uh, switch over to the Hide Knight Sword, just because, um, yeah, actually, you know what? Yeah, just because of the elec the, the electricity damage on this is going to basically out-damage the, um, the mace for now, but not for long. And let's see what's up here. I do believe there should be an item up here waiting for us. Yeah, nothing too crazy, I don't think. Just something shitty to get you to sidetrack. Hexing urn, okay. Well, never mind. It's kind of decent. So over here, we're going to deal with um, these two giant fuckers. You don't have to really fight them. Um, you could actually bypass them completely. Let me take care of this guy, though. Let's see if I can hit him in the head. <laughs> yeah, boom, bitch. I'm just over here practicing for Call of Duty Ghost uh, 74. It hasn't come out yet, but it's coming out of here at one point or another. Now, where this guy is that I just shot, we uh, wanna, no, don't move out of the way. Yeah, c creep over to me. Okay, or just fucking drop down and don't die. What is fall damage? What is aiming, Falcon? Okay, well, apparently I'm a terrible Call of Duty Go 74 player. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, just come, come on down. Motherfucker, why I can't shoot you, but I could definitely uh, land on you. <laughs> I could aim, I believe you, I could aim at some point. So, you don't have to deal with them, you have to basically go where that motherfucker came from. Also, I can't believe that man made it all the way to me, and I missed like 70 times. Uh, there's gonna be a, a switch right there that you hit to open this door up. So, you don't have to really fight these guys. Um, will I do it? I guess I could, but I don't really see the point in it, so I'm just gonna actually run by. Not really necessarily to do so. It's honestly just a waste of my time, and you know, the souls aren't really that great that they actually give you, so what's the fucking deal, right? And there's no other, um, secrets down there that we're interested in anyway, so... Um, I usually like fighting those guys, it's because they're so easy to take down. But, um, yeah, not really necessarily. Let me hook over here, and boom! Bonfire, bitch! Alright, and let me just, uh... <coughs> you go back over there, you're not welcomed! Alrighty, so, um... We got our bonfire going on over here. Now, let me get a bit of coffee here. Alright. <laughs> now, the the part coming up, there's going to be a little bit of a detour. Quite a bit of a detour to get a lot of different items. Which we will want to get just for the sake of the walkthrough itself. And I'm a big, you know, I'm big when it comes to loot. Uh, you could bypass this whole area over here completely and just head straight through over there. But, you know, that's not how I roll, so we're gonna go and do the long way, the uh, masochist type of way. Um, before we go down over here and get stuck there, I'm gonna get this area out of the way first. So, you, hey, yeah, come in through here. I'm, I'm not sure if you remember, oh, okay. I'm not sure if you remember early Dark Souls uh, videos, how they talked about, uh, or they showed, like, gameplay footage of, like, enemies crashing through walls, and it seemed, like, really fucking awesome. Well... It 
kind of didn't wind up being that cool. <laughs> just basically things like this. Like, they're just kind of predetermined. Okay. He did not break that wall for us. He needs to do his little, uh, fu well, not fire spell, but his little... Okay. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to work out, too. I thought he had to do his little, uh, crazy apocalypse ball spell, that one right there, but I guess he doesn't have to. Okay. Just, uh, smack me in the face. All good. Just do it again. Um, are you going to really die, Falcon, to this guy? Like, really? Because <laughs> if you die to this guy, then, you know, what's ahead of you is going to probably not work out too well. So, Radiant Life Gem, Smooth and Silk Stone. Uh, was this, is this worth it? Mm, not really. Not, not really, but I like doing it either way, you know. Old Knight Pike, Old Knight Great Shield. Old Knight items are strong, but they tend to break really fast. So, they think of them as, like, the, I guess, crystal weapons from Dark Souls 1. If you want to see them as anything. You could repair them a lot easier, but, you know. So, if you drop down over here, it's going to be a chest, which we will get. And we're going to go through some really poison hijinks down there. Which is kind of annoying, but um, we'll do it regardless. So, let me get this out of the way first and foremost. should probably struck that, make sure it wasn't a trap. Um, let's see here, what we got? Poison Stone and Rotten Pine Resin. So, Rotten Pine Resin, we bought a few from Gavlan Wheels, Deals, and the... Stone itself is to imbue... Or imbel? Im no, it's imbue. Imbue your weapon with poison. I know what I was saying. Um, and let me drop a life gem here. And I'm not entirely sure if fire lets you see a little bit easier down there. So let's actually um, use a flame butterfly and assume that it is going to help me see a little bit better down there because I am really fucking blind and tend to get lost. So I should have probably just taken the ladder, but... Okay, so, yeah, it does let you see a bit better, otherwise this would be, like, just a green mist, so... If you want to make it easier on yourself, turn on a... Torch over here. Not that it's hard to kind of get where you have to go, you just walk straight. Unfortunately, I turned myself around the first time, and I was like, Oh god, where am I? Where am I? And I kind of started freaking out a bit. Claustrophobia. It's not funny. <laughs> it's really not. Uh, oh, no, not right now. Falcon, not right now, because you're poisoned. Uh, let me actually... Do this to make sure we don't die. And let me go back into the bonfire, because we're going to have to do that regardless. And then we're going to go to the other area. So we got that section out of the way. Again, we're going to take a little bit of time over here just to get all the loot and whatnot before we proceed on to the area which we're supposed to be heading to. But again, we're all doing this for a reason. So, um, bear in mind. So let's see. Let me switch over to my shield now. Hey, dude. How you doing? Now, over here is going to be kind of a dick situation. Um... Ah, I hate this area. Okay. Let's see how this goes. Uh, let's see if I could just kind of, uh... Okay, hey, hey guys. <laughs> okay, yeah, it should be four of you guys, right? <laughs> yeah, cool. Just four of them. No big deal. Um, I think one of them crashes through something through over here. But what we're gonna do is open this immediately. Grab the item back over here. Tie that shard. Excellent. And then we're gonna hang out back over here. No! Nobody invited you! Go away! You're giving away my position to these guys. Which are quite a few of them, to be quite honest with you. A little bit overkill here, but, uh, again, you're not completely too hard. Now, can I be a scumbag about this? Well, I could. However, we've all seen how my aiming normally goes. Now, I'm not entirely sure if they come in through here. I don't think they do. Oh, okay, never mind. They certainly fucking do. Do they? No, no, he's scared. He's scared of enclosed places. I don't blame him, to be quite honest. You know what, man? You're not alone. Now, let me see if I could be a douchebag about this. And, uh, roll away. Okay. Just douche it up a little bit. I, I do want to kill him. And that, that is for sure, because, um, turns me on a little bit, to be quite honest with you. So there you go. One of them down. We still have three to deal with, and there should be coming behind me, which is, is com completely correct. Um, there's a lot of items to grab through these, uh, boarded up, uh, areas, so that's the reason why I'm dealing with it. Do I have to fight him? Not really. I mean, I could just kind of, uh dodge my way around, but what's the fun in that, right? Well, apparently the fun in that is not getting killed by this guy here, so let me just kind of, uh, fuck him up a bit here. Don't block! Don't you- oh, you get leashed! <laughs> you can't come in here any further if you wanted to, could you? Don't- don't prove me wrong, though. Okay, you son of a bitch, don't prove me wrong. And take your fucking friends with you! I'm not entirely sure what this man is up to, but... Okay. He's... <laughs> it's your problem. Why are you just blocking? Okay, cool, whatever, man. 
Full Moon Sickle, you know what, that was actually worth it. I haven't gotten that drop before from these guys, so that was actually pretty cool. Um, let's see, can I just backstab this man? Why, I was trying to. But, okay, don't. Don't do it right now, Falcon. You're, you're in a hot streak right now. You got two of these guys down. You can't lose to two now. You can lose to two now that you've dropped it down to two. You had four and you survived four. You can't survive two. Come on, stop being a pussy. Alrighty, um... Yeah, you come over here. We're gonna actually pussy it back up quite gladly, to be quite honest with you. Because, um, I actually love cheesing this way like I did it. And you know what? I'm perfectly okay with that. Yeah, you walk away. I will just shoot you in the backside. <clears throat> Excuse my voice, by the way. I'm not entirely sure what's going on with it, but, um, it is indeed, uh, starting to lose its effect. All right, you get over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, do your thing. Cool. Two strikes and... No! Why is that equipped? Put your sword out, Falcon, you foolish man. Okay, one more should pretty much do it. There you go. And now we just have to deal with his friend back there. Again, you don't have to kill these guys. I just kind of want to do it because it makes me feel good. Come on. Do your one, two. Okay. And now, wah, uh, wah, wah. Roll away. Get hit still, even though you're rolling away, Falcon. And there you go. Four guys down. No big deal. Well, I mean, it was a big deal, but, uh... <laughs> thankfully, through cheesing, it's not a big deal now. So, we got a drop from them, which is cool. And, uh, we're gonna get the rest of these items. Nothing too crazy in here, I don't believe. But, um, you know, if you're like me, you like collecting, so, um, you know, you don't wanna shit leave anything behind. There's no secret areas here, to my knowledge, either way. Believe me, I smash the hell out of the X button, you know, or the A button, or, you know, whatever button you're going to use on the PC when that's out. And I haven't found anything in particular. And I've also struck walls and no other stuff, but yeah. So, um, Simpleton Spice, by the way, um, it's something that I haven't really touched on, but I... They're actually really good. They actually draw, drop the fate and or intelligence required for certain spells. Which is really, really good, especially if you're, like, you're not really particularly uh, a magic build. And I always miss that guy because I always have the sword equipped and I never strike downward. Um, by the way, don't drop down there. That is death. I am pretty sure anyway. Let me actually uh, double check. I, I do believe this is a, a fucking endless pit though. But let's uh, check out with our, uh, where is it? Prism Stones, Prism Stone, where are you? There you go. Let's still double check, but I'm pretty sure that's a, you know, fucking poison abyss here. Let's keep an ear out. Oh yeah. My sorry for the delay there. If there's any delay, I again I play with a roughly a one second audio delay. So <laughs> for a second I didn't hear anything. I was like, oh, I guess you could jump down there, and uh, you know, thankfully it waited a bit longer. It was kind of like, oh, never mind. That is the sound you want to avoid. For another fragment branch of yours. So again, really important to go through the area because I think we got two of them here alone. So really, really good. Now we're not done here yet. There's still a few more pits for us to kind of check out. So um, if we can to make this a lot simpler for us, let me go in here. I'll light up a torch. I'll light up a doob, as they say around here. They don't really say that. I, I made that up. <laughs> I try to make it seem like I have friends at times. Oh yeah, my friends, they say uh, light up a torch all the time, which means uh, light up the old Doobie Meister, but in reality, you know, who are we kidding here? What friends, Falcon? Actually, did I come from here at some point? Or did I not? Yeah, yeah, this is where we... Or is it? Yeah, this is where we got the, the poison thing, right? With that big mammoth dude. Oh yeah, total, totally. So, wrong spot here. Um, by the way, you should probably... Has to sit up here, Falcon. And let me run back over here. Uh, one thing that I've noticed uh, in my <laughs> recent videos is for some reason, I speak to myself now in third person when I'm making these videos. I'm not sure why. I'm not sure how that even came about, but I've been doing it, and hopefully you're okay with it. Hopefully it doesn't annoy anybody. Um, you know. Uh, I'm not going to start talking in the third person completely, but I do reference to myself for, I'm not sure why, but I, I do it. Uh, let's see, item down over here. Simpleton Spice, always good. And I believe this takes us down, yeah, where all those other guys are at. Uh, we don't want to deal with them just yet. We want to make sure to get all the items here, so... Um, let me knock down this, uh... Estus Flask here. Let me reset this. I know it's going to seem a little bit, uh... Continuous, like me doing this over and over. Hopefully, you guys aren't too annoyed by it, but, um... I'm doing it just to get the poison out and, uh, you know... Conserve my... Poison mosses and whatnot. 
All right, so I think we dropped down from the furthest one, right? So we might have only this one to go through. Does that just about sum it up? It does seem that way. So let me go and drop down here and see where this leads us. I think this only connects to the one that I just dropped down, but there is another item here, which is a fading soul. You know, what? I keep forgetting to check what the hell that even is. I think it's a bullshit item, but I haven't really particularly checked it out. So, um, oh, there's this over here too. Human effigy, light star, night chart. Good, 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 good. And I think that's going to be pretty much it. Well, there's a few more items around these guys, which are easily grabbable. You could either run through them and get them, or you could kill these guys. And I prefer killing them just because they're relatively easy to take care of. So, now that we are done here, we're done expecting all, or exploring all this, not expecting. Apparently, I'm expected deck from the Wu-Tang Clan, Killer Bees. I'm surprised I still remember that, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> I guess I'm still hip. Whatever uh, little bit of hipness I still had in the uh, early 2000s still kind of hang out still nowadays, which is kind of like makes me sound like a, one of those old parents and whatnot. Where it's kind of like, hey, son, I'm still with a Jimbo, and they're like, you know, talk to you about some weird thing. You're like, dad, you know, you're embarrassing me right now. Um, I guess that's what I am right now. I don't think this guy should be able to reach us. Yeah, never really does, does he? This guy is just kind of like, you know, has like the most terrible luck to be going honest with you. I mean, you were not done any favors with that, I guess, whatever, what attack is that? It looks like something like from the Dark Magician in Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm not sure where these references are coming from today, but you know, apparently... <laughs> it's like I'm hit. I've hit like midlife crisis where like everything that I grew up with is starting to come out. It's kind of like, yeah, Falcon, you're not that old, man. Here's a little bit of nostalgia for you. Now, we're only doing this because uh, essentially I want to grab the items that are down here before we start wrapping it up for today. Again, I don't have to kill these guys, but it makes me feel a little bit safer. I'm gonna at least take care of one of them, then I'll dash and get the other stuff in there. With only one of them, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, to be quite honest with you. And that should pretty much do it. Um, we'll leave him alone. Let me switch over to my Sordo just in case, and let me drop a life gem, just to give us a little bit of continuous health. And let's just grab this. Get striked in the face! Oh lordy lordy lord. Titanite shark, because poison's gonna kill me otherwise. Wow, okay. Um, <laughs> so much for uh, those guys not being an issue, right? So there's still one more item in there which I'll grab right now. Green fat man, you need to relax real quick, okay? It's not even time to deal with you just yet. Um, well. That's a little bit fucking embarrassing to be going on with you. For some reason, I felt the need to press forward and attack, and instead of, you know, you saw I had the stamina left for it, right? I'm not making an excuse, I swear to God I'm not. I, you know, pushed them forward instead of just hitting them and killing them. I had the stamina for it. Oh, you motherfucker. You know what? I'm not gonna be content with this episode until I get that green fat man, get my souls back, and get that item. You know, I was about to say, oh man, two episodes without a death. Really, really good so far, huh? Nope. This fat man had to deal fucking ruin, Dad. I guess he didn't take really kindly to me calling him overweight. But let's, you know, let's call a spade a spade here. I mean, he is kind of a, a robust individual. Sure, he might uh, claim that some of that fatness is just muscle. That's why he's wielding such an um, amazing sized weapon there. And by that, I don't, mean, I don't really mean his penis. I haven't really seen that. So let me grab that chameleon. All good. And let's go ahead and homeward bone the fuck out of here. Preferably before the poison hits. Oh, just on time. That was pretty good. All right, guys. So how about we call it an episode here today? I feel like it's gone on long enough. We've explored most of uh, wherever this area we're at. I think it's Hunter's Valley, maybe. Who knows? I forgot. But we're going to go inside this little fortress where we'll deal with um, a boss. So next episode, boss coming up. And um, we'll explore, do a little bit more exploring. But either way, we got this part done, which is really kind of a uh, pain in the ass to get through. But I wanted to show you all guys the uh, treasures and whatnot. So either way, guys, hopefully you enjoyed it. And if you did, I encourage you to click the thumb up button. Thumbs up button. Thumb up button. Whatever it is. If you felt this helped you, if not, perfectly fine, no big deal. Either way, I'll catch you guys next time.